So what is going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy United Fractured Friendships 2-Pack, which includes Gladiator Megatron and Security Officer Orion Pax, or it's just Optimus. I just call it Optimus. This is the Optimus Prime design. Why would it be Orion Pax? I don't know. But anyway... First it goes, this is, if I'm not mistaken, based on the IDW comics, which kind of cool because I don't think we've seen either of these designs. Or, I mean, this is just a repaint, but we haven't seen this design in the main line ever, so that's cool. There is another version of this Megatron. I believe this is the exact same one as the one that comes in the Amazon 2-pack with Ratbat. So there's that, but this is Comic-Con exclusive, basically meaning... It's not actually Comic-Con exclusive. You can get it on Hasbro Pulse. You can get it on... I think it shows up at GameStop. It shows up in a couple places. It's really not that hard to get a hold of. It's just not available on most online retailers like Walmart or Amazon. It's just in those, like... You know, BBTS would have it. Places like that. You know, your collector spots would have it. But not, like, your main retail store places. As far as it goes, pretty cool pack. We're going to take a look at Optimus first because he's the newer of the two... And we'll take a look at Megatron, who's not too different from the Siege mold that it's derived from. So first up, we have the new Optimus Prime here, which isn't new. It's a remold of the Fall of Cybertron, War for Cybertron, Gamer Edition Optimus. And what a remold it is. Who could have seen that coming? A remold out of Gamer Edition Optimus into IDW Optimus. It's an intriguing path, to say the least, and I don't own Gamer Edition Optimus. This is my first go-around with the mold. I only ever heard good things about that mold. I always heard it's the best one of the Gamer Edition figures, and yep, I can firmly agree with that. This is probably my new favorite Optimus. I love this design so much. It looks so cool. It's so different, and that's what I like about it. It's different. It's a different take, and I love when they have these different takes of figures like this, or just characters in general. It's so nice to have it. As far as it'll go, there's certain things that are carried over from the other versions, such as the random arm removal. Still there. You can't do it with this figure, but it's still there. For some reason, they put a chunk in the gun. It's the same exact gun. But they did that. The backpack's a little funky. It's a bit hollow and a little weird, if I'm being honest. In the front, it doesn't look bad, but it's just from when you start turning, and especially from the back, it looks really strange because it just kind of juts out a little too far. I mean, as far as it goes detailing-wise, he's primarily red, this very nice vibrant red, some blue, some gray, and a bit of yellow on the go. Nothing too hard on the eyes here. He's just a pretty basic generic Optimus Prime, if I'm being honest. There's no problem to be had. He does come with a matrix of leadership, which is in his chest, of course, right there. And it is very much different from your basic one you get with most figures. There it is. Oh, I dropped it. It's a very small one. It's much smaller than most of the matrix they have released, at least with the side parts. It's not as long. A little bit more round in the middle. Looks pretty good, nonetheless. And the matrix chamber itself also looks quite good. The detailing there is very nice. That just pegs on like that, real nice, real easy. I mean, it just looks great. The head sculpt on this figure also looking great. As you can see, he has these nice silver ears instead of it being all blue, which I kind of like. It's a slight change, but it's a very nice change, I have to say. And one thing I have to say is this is probably one of the beefiest Optimus I've ever seen. It's very beefy. But that is basically Optimus in a nutshell, so let's take a look at Megatron now. And so now for Megatron, which is the Siege one. Again, I'm pretty sure the legs are completely unchanged. The arms are different at the shoulder, but I believe the forearms are the same. The chest piece is different. Same tread backpack. The head sculpt is very much different. And probably the best part of this whole figure, if I'm being honest, the head sculpt just looks really cool. Very detailed, very nice looking head sculpt. And it's of course the kind of black brown dome head, which he had in the original G1 concept art. So do with that as you will. It looks really, really cool. There's not really much to say about it that I haven't already said about Seed Megatron. 
It's a good mold, but it's been repurposed like 90 times in the last I don't know how long. The paint's a bit dull, if I'm being honest. Like, it's a bit metallic-y at the hips, but the majority of the figure is kind of this just marbly gray. It's fine. He does come with a boatload of accessories. I didn't show primes other than his gun, but we'll see them. So first up, he has the sword, which I don't have on him because he has so many accessories. The only problem I have with the sword is there's no peg to put on it. There's this one, but that only goes into the shoulder. So unless you want the sword sticking off of his shoulder, that's what you're getting. Which, kind of a shame. Next up, we have his purple hammer thing, which also looks really cool. Very nice looks very vibrant very cool next up we have the pickaxe of doom the pickaxe here also looking quite nice with the pink it's very well sculpted it's actually two parts and not one that's cool and then we have he doesn't have a fusion cannon so he has a drill which is two parts the tip of the drill comes off of the back section and that's basically your Megatron. He's not really anything too special. I mean, definitely different looking. I mean, he's definitely a version of Megatron, but he's not my favorite version of Megatron. And it's not even my favorite version of this mold. I like the other original way more, the Kingdom one I have. I should say way more than this iteration. So let's do some transformations. I know I skipped the articulation, but that's mainly because it has the, they both have the same articulation, and it's basically the same as always. There's nothing missing from these guys. The one thing to note, Prime's right arm goes farther than his left arm. That's it. That's the only thing to note. It's as basic as it gets. They have every single bit of articulation covered. So to transform Optimus here, it is pretty easy. First thing, remove his accessories, including his little side guns here. Yes, these are extra, and they do move. I don't even know if they're really supposed to go there. I just threw them there as more of a reference to Armada Prime than anything. As far as it goes to start it off, the first thing you do is yank the shoulders out like so. Come around to the back, and then flip out this section. Rotate it around like that. And then after you do that, take the entire front end, flip it, like so. And then do that. And you get basically the whole front end done in one foul swoop. This is the complete opposite of most Optimus Primes. For the first bit, take the legs, fold them up like that, and then rotate the arms back like this, so turn the singular pipe inward, like so, and once you've done that, come to the legs, so you're going to flip down the front shin panels, like that, flip the feet up where the shins were, and now you're going to take the legs, and you're going to make sure that the crotch plate aligns. So the crotch plate here has to go back to where it was. That's one of the most major steps somehow, but it's so easy to screw up. After that, come to the sides here, fold up these kind of large pipe sections, and flip out those panels. Come into the leg and flip out the wheels like that. Once you flip out the wheels... You can then start pegging the entire back section together, like so. There we go. There we have it. And then you take the feet. Actually, I missed an entire step. I'm not going to lie to you. Which is the arms. They do peg in. They're very weird, but they do peg in. Then you take the feet and fold them down, and then you can take his little side guns and stick them onto the side. They all form to be like little pipes, and there we have Optimus's alt form. Next up is Megatron, who's a little bit easier, and you're going to need the pickaxe for this. You're going to need to remove this section specifically. The next thing you're going to do, come to the arms. Might as well flip in that hand while I'm at it. Peg that section into the drill, like that. Flip up the hand that is remaining. 
Done that, flip up the heels as well. Come to the backpack, fold it over his head, open up the tread sections, and then take the section there, fold it down to form the front end. Take his arms, and then snap them back like so. Take the entire front section and put that into place. Rotate the waist around. Fold the legs out. Fold down these sections. And then you're going to take the hip sections here and they're just going to fold in like that. So once you bend them, just want to spin that joint around. And then you're going to take those and do that. And that equals out to pretty much the tank mode, other than just this section missing, which pegs into those slots I mentioned on the shoulders in robot mode, like so. And there we have the alt form, and you can take this pickaxe part and just put it somewhere, I guess, and make sure everything's pegged in, because mine likes to be a little droopy. But that is all for the transformation for Megatron, so let's just get into the alt form, starting again with Optimus Prime. As far as this alt mode goes, yeah, I like this thing a lot. It's a giant brick. That's all it needs to be. It also has one of my favorite things of a transformation with an Optimus. It has a lot going on in the legs, and I'd say most of this guy's transformation is in the legs. Almost shocking, if I'm being honest. That doesn't happen too often with Optimus Primes, where their legs actually end up doing anything, but this guy actually has most of it in the legs, so it's really cool. As far as it goes, the nice blue windshield is there. It looks really good. The wheels are painted. The front one the wheels are larger than the back wheels. He fixes the Gamer Edition version's problems where the fists were just sticking out the back like that by doing this. Also, by doing this and folding up off foot, you can peg on the gun if you'd like, which equals out to, you know, easy storage, but kind of ruins the back of it because, again, one's still kind of flipped up. But other than that, that's basically the alternate form. It's very good. It rolls quite nicely. It's a very, very good Optimus alt form. It's a little different, but I do appreciate that. Next up is Megatrons, which is literally the Siege alt form, but missing the gun. That's it. It's, it's inferior. It is genuinely inferior. I hate when they take an actual tank and make it a drill tank. It makes no sense, it's stupid, it's the same alt form, just missing the main cool bit. That's it, that's all I have to say about it. There's nothing more that needs to be said. It's just a lame version of the thing that already existed. And I don't even know if I have this right, you're probably supposed to put it like this. But I just don't, because I'm stupid. I've never actually tried to either. Yeah, actually, I don't think you do, so I think I was good. But that's the thing I hate, is just that it's a drill tank, and it's stupid, and I hate drill tanks. It's fine. Also, it's warped in the front, which doesn't look too good. But that's it. That's the alt mode for Megatron. I'm not even just going to say anything. You get a couple nice new red paint details, but that's it. That's all you get with it. So let's just get to my final thoughts on it. Starting with Megatron, and not Optimus. Megatron is the filler figure of this set. You're not buying this set for Megatron. You're not. I feel like no one is buying this set for the Megatron. It's a Megatron, sure, but it's, like, the least cool one. Like, I get they went with this mold because, you know, pretty much fits, but I just hate that they didn't change a lot. Like, they didn't even try with the legs. It's just the same legs. They didn't try to do anything with it that was cool or interesting. They just basically said, you know what, let's just take Siege Megatron and do it again. Using that one mold we used not that long ago to make a kind of odd figure. That's it. That's literally my thoughts on that. The accessories are cool, but again, he can't really store them all. Meaning one's kind of getting shafted or you're not using the pickaxe, which is probably the most important one. Because you kind of need the pickaxe in order to actually make the tank form work. So that's a little dumb. The only one you can store is the pickaxe, which also he's a miner that turned into a gladiator. 
So I think it'd be cool if the pickaxe is his weapon instead of, again, the sword, which, yes, he usually has a sword with his figures, so... I don't know. It's also the only one that's not purple. It's orange for some reason. But anyway, that is Megatron. And for Optimus, complete opposite end of the spectrum. It's not even close. He is a 5 out of 5. Megatron is like a 3.5. He's fine. I know I gave that figure a 5 out of 5 in the past. I kind of want to take it back, but I still think the Kingdom one's better. This version of Optimus is amazing. It's an amazing figure. You can get the Gamer Edition again. They reissued it, luckily. I love that we live in the era of reissues. I also don't at the same time, because sometimes I buy a figure art, and it's like, oh, here it is, reissued, like, a month later. I'm like, thanks, guys. I hate when that happens. I just wanted to point that out, though. I know I'm not the only one that happens to. That happens to a lot of people. But this Optimus is in a peculiar spot. Unless this is the exact one you're looking for, for, you know, your Optimus Prime or whatever, the 86 one's coming out soon. A lot of people started getting that figure. And this thing isn't a G1 Prime, but if you're looking for an Optimus Prime, he'd probably be the one I'd recommend, but the problem is, he's like the same price as the 86 one. Meaning, if you're just buying this set for him, it's kind of like, man, what are you doing? Like, what was I doing? What was I thinking buying the set? For pretty much just Optimus, you know? Like, yes, he's really good. Yes, he's cool. Yes, he's awesome. He's a 5 out of 5 without a doubt in my mind. But, it's like, there's no easy way to get him. He's going to be a weird figure to get, probably, for most of his existence. And for some reason, all of the IDW figures got sentenced to be exclusives. Which is really weird. I do that to the IDW guys. But this is the best Optimus I think I've had in a long time. It's the best one since the Bumblebee movie one and the Siege one. Easily. Not Siege. The Earthrise one. But Megatron's Megatron. I mean, you know what you're getting with him. You're not getting anything different. You're just getting a bunch of accessories. With him, you're getting a whole bunch of stuff. He is a genuinely good Optimus. You might be able to pass it off for another character. Probably not, because it's Optimus colored. But still... That's it. Like, I think this is probably my new favorite Optimus. But that's really it. That's been my review of the Fractured Friendships 2-pack. This has been Elite signing out.